I'm very pleased we are here to uh, tell Congressman Kurt to please, please sign on to the Iran deal. It cannot be better, and we want to do everything we can to promote peace and not war. And we've got to give the young people of Iran a chance. We've got to give them a chance to grow up. I think war is a bad idea. It's much too expensive. We cannot afford it. As an American Jew uh, and who loves Israel, I want to say that this is the best deal we'll ever get, and we should not start another war. I support this because I don't want to go to war. We've been in the war so many times. Um, it's important that um, we understand that war is the worst thing we could do. And I hope Robert Hurt supports not going to war. Thank you. My name is Rick Bayless, and I I'm a volunteer coordinator for this event today. Uh, I am a former, I'm a returned Peace Corps volunteer from Iran. I spent two years there back when uh, we had uh, overthrown the democratic uh, elected uh, government of Iran and installed a dictator, uh, Shahai Pahlavi. Uh, and in my two years there, I was, I was incredibly welcomed and, and they were very hospitable to me despite that happening because they make a distinction between government and people. This answer to what's going on is not a military answer. The answer is diplomacy. They would be terrible to be bombing these people. Bush said that, well, Iraq might have nuclear weapons, and therefore we should aid them. You know how that came out. 5,000 American soldiers dead and tens of thousands injured or uh, mentally or physically. And what have we accomplished? Nothing. What have we accomplished in Afghanistan? War doesn't work. We need to make peace. Now I'm going to deliver this petition that you signed. Now I want you to take a look at this. This is a petition that you signed. I've got 76 pages of signatures here on this petition. My, my printer ran out of paper in the midst of this. <laughs> and there are over 25 signatures per page. 76 pages, do the math. This is one heck of a petition, right? Am I right? Yes. I'm here in support of our president and of our diplomats who work tirelessly on our behalf uh, to wage peace rather than war and uh, to because I think all of us should do everything we possibly can to prevent war. Violence is not the answer. Diplomacy is the answer. This diplomatic endeavor lasted a long, long time and lots of people worked really, really hard and it's the best solution to the problem at hand. I'm here basically because this is just a local political issue that they're making out of this. The whole world in general is vastly supportive of this agreement, this treaty. And I'm from Charlottesville. I'll make a little bit different comment. If this agreement is good enough for China, Russia, the United Kingdom, France, Germany, the EU, and the UN, What's wrong with the United States that they can't get on board and take a chance on that? The thought of war and children and women and suffering uh, is just so beyond my comprehension. We just cannot have any more wars. Uh, I'm here to support this agreement because it's a very sensible step. It's the most sensible step we can take at this time. It's certainly more sensible in a war. Um, Iran is not the enemy. Iran has actually never been the enemy of the United States. No. The, the response to 911 was completely misdirected. The, the serious problem countries in that region are Saudi Arabia and Pakistan, not Iran. And it's just a travesty that people are pushing for a war on Iran. Just as earlier, they pushed for a war in Iraq to deal with problems that originated in Saudi Arabia and Pakistan.
I also feel if, you, if people who are not for the deal in terms of a fear for what Iran might do, if they would think in terms of China and the UK and Russia and uh, Germany and France, the EU and uh, the United Nations supporting the deal, what, how will that affect the United States standing to be almost a rogue state in not supporting it? My 10-year-old grandson Tucker did the coloring on the sign and drew the graphics. I said, please illustrate it for me, Tucker, and you will see how he put the hands for negotiation and the symbols against war. So I wish that most of our politicians against this deal could talk to Tucker and maybe he could inform them of the importance of peace and not war. It's always easy for either side to say, we can get a better deal. And both sides are saying, but neither side, the Iranians nor the uh, Americans who are skeptical or opposed to this treaty, should believe that the, the negotiations which led to this very positive outcome can be easily changed. And a link to this video to Senator Warner, because last I heard, he's still sitting on the fence waiting to see what's going to happen. And we really, really need more senators to jump on board here because we're right on the edge of this being able to be successful. So, Let's all call Warner today. Yes, I would simply like to know if war is the answer. When was the last time we actually won a war? I can't remember the last time, and you never ever win a war. There are too many lives that are lost. The economy is, is gone down the tubes because there's no such thing as winning wars anymore. Peace is the answer.